You positively soaked. Why didn't you use the umbrella I gave you? Oh, the storm caught you by surprise. You poor thing. Well, I can't have you standing around like this. You'll catch your death of a cold. We need to get you out of these clothes right away. You go ahead and take those off, and I'll get you something dry. I'm going to put these in the drying cabinet for you in a bit, but first let's get you dry. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't look. I knew it was a good idea to keep some of your wardrobe here. <laughs> ah, hold on. Hmm, your hair still looks rather wet, though. Let me help you out with that. This one, I have plenty of warm, fluffy towels on off. There, all better. Have a seat on the sofa while I get us something to drink. Voila! Some hot chocolate to warm you right back up, dear. And maybe a marshmallow? <laughs> oh, come here, you. Give me a hug. Mm. Oh, Celestia! Your ears are as cold as ice. 
I know how tender cold ears can be, so rubbing them is a bad idea. I know. I'm going to breathe some warm air onto them. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. Feels nice, doesn't it? Turn your head for me, dear. Ah, you look much better already. You got that hint of color back in your cheeks. Quite a lot, really. Now drink up. I hope it's to your liking. The wine is waiting over there, snug in its ice bucket until later. This is nice, isn't it? Just you and me alone in the storm. Sweetie Belle took Opal with her to our parents' house a few days ago now. I've been working on a very special order and she would not stop crawling on the new fabric I ordered, you see. It really is coming down hard tonight, wouldn't you say? You'd have to wonder why the weather patrol would schedule such an event instead of spreading the rain out over a few days. And yet... And yet... Here you are. You braved the storm and practically swam here just to be with me. I, I'm sure that you wanted to see me too. It's just that I just think that you're a dear to go through so much trouble for it. <laughs> But then again, that's what you always do, putting the needs of others ahead of your own. I'm not telling you how to live your life, but the thought of you plowing through the rain wearing nothing but... <gasps> idea! Stay put, darling. I'll be right back. is the material I've been working with these last few days. It's very warm, crinkly, and also hydrophobic. Sapphire Shores is putting on a grand tour, as you might have heard, and she was adamant that the material should not just look good and fit well, but also be water repellent. I'm very lucky that I managed to get a hold of this. It's quite amazing, really. Water just rolls off it like little glass beads. Go on, dear, feel it. There must be a fair bit of magic woven into this fabric. It is remarkably thin for how well it keeps in the heat. Ah, I love that sound. It feels so nice, too. Here, feel it against your cheek. It goes great with your eyes as well. <laughs> no surprise there. Now, what I'm going to do is make you a poncho out of this and a little bag with a sling. You can have it rolled up and easily carry it with you wherever you go. It's far more reliable than an umbrella too. In a wind like this, it would just be torn apart. And it has the added benefit of making you look fabulous. Or rather, more fabulous. <laughs> now, I'm going to use this measuring tape just to be sure I've got your dimensions just right. It's been a while since our last time, after all. Could you straighten up for me a bit, dear? Thank you. Let me see. Waist is a fair bit shapelier than the last time I checked. Someone has been working out. Oh, don't get me wrong, dear. There is nothing wrong with your physique earlier. It's just nice to see that you're taking care of yourself. Hmm. 
I need to have a look from the back, too. Hold still a bit longer, sweetie. There. All done. You can relax now while I get to work. Ponchos have such an undeserved bad reputation. The word usually brings shabby fabric or cheap plastic membranes to mind. Blah. You know what I'm talking about, of course. You've seen those if you've ever been to an amusement park or visited a festival. I have to admit that I used to think the same, but a little trip to Appaloosa changed all of that. Do you remember what happened that time? <laughs> I'm not talking about the time when the girls and I chased after Applejack and I ended up having to pedal all the way back to civilization. From Dodge Junction. With Pinkie Pie. Come to think of it, I have yet to pay back the favor to Rainbow Dash for leaving us out in the desert. No, darling. I'm talking about the time we went there to deliver a tree to one of dear Applejack's relatives. To make a long story short, we had a run-in with the native bison. You know the story, of course, but I don't think I ever told you what we learned about their culture, apart from that I really can't stomach their food. <laughs> but what I did love was their clothes. Sweet Celestia, they were gorgeous. Every thread in those garments was like a part of a story. It's pattern weaving a tale about its wearer. A bison's poncho can have a pattern that reflects an important part of its personality, or special talent in much the same way cutie marks do, or they can describe an important event in that individual's life. Little Strongheart, the chief's daughter, was given one during our visit there, and it had the most heartwarming pattern showing a buffalo and a pony dancing hoof and hoof on the background of a stampeding buffaloes next to the silhouette of Abelosa. It was given to her as a gift to commemorate the work she had done in bringing harmony among her tribe and the ponies settling there. There are plenty of clothes in the fashion industry that have concepts they want to portray, to be sure. But what I saw from the buffaloes was a breath of fresh air. Practical, personal, and very pleasant to wear. <sighs> I've been dying to get a chance to try my hooves at making a line of my own ponchos in the future. I just haven't gotten around to it with all that's been going on. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. It's just that I have not been able to spend the time and energy on the ideas that I have filed away in my mind. <laughs> my life is a wonderful one. Not just for my career or the adventures, but for everyone I share them with. My family, the girls, and of course... You, darling. I have a feeling that you're not aware of it, but you make dreams come true. Here, I've been pining to work on a garment for ages, and just walk in here and give me an opportunity to just go for it. If I ever do make a line of ponchos, I would love to have you modeling for me. Would you like that? <laughs> now, unless you want to wait all night, I won't be able to weave a pattern into it. But that can be arranged later. It gives me a perfect excuse to invite you again, wouldn't you say? Now. I've taken the only idea from those plastic ponchos that has any merit and incorporated it into my design. There's a hood here that you can use to cover your head with so you won't freeze those adorable ears of yours off when walking through the rain. Let me see how it looks on you, dear. I was right. It really does go great with your eyes as well. Remember when I told you that it's water repelling? Well... I'm going to levitate this ice cube above you so you can see for yourself. Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Here we go. Look at the droplets rolling off of you, as if they were beads of glass. Let's try it again. I think that 
that's enough of that. I'm going to have a closer look to see that there's no moisture left in the fabric. Hmm. Hmm. This is simply fabulous, dear. You're rainproof. Hmm. I'm going to turn around, walk away, and then look at you from a distance. I need to do this in order to take in the whole picture. Strike a pose, dear. I will spin around and look at you on the count of three. One. Two. <laughs> Three! Oh, my darling! You look smashing! This looks so much better than the image in my head. You look positively regal! <laughs> darling, I'm so happy right now. Come here, you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming here tonight. Thank you for modeling for me. Thank you for just being you. I'd say this calls for celebration. Let me help you take that off and I'll put on the finishing touches tomorrow before you leave. Yes, tomorrow. You're staying the night and I will not hear another word about it. Let's get you out of that, or I shall be oogling you all night long. Take a seat while I get this open. Oh, I don't suppose you would happen to have brought a corkscrew by any chance? I'm afraid that I have misplaced mine. I'll just try to pull it right out of there. How hard could it be? <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, it's really stuck in there. Ah, I caught it! Hold the bottle out in front of you, with the neck towards me. Yes, just like that. Now I'm going to stick my own horn into the cork. I think it shall provide my magic with a better grip, as it were. Heave! Oh! Good heavens! I can't believe it worked. Oh, no, it's stuck up there. <laughs> I seem to be in rather deep. Would you be a dear and help a lady in distress? That's much better. Thank you, dear. Hmm. There might just be some potential in this kind of horn decorations. A new line, perhaps? Ah, oh, well, an idea for another day. But here, keep the cork as a souvenir. Think of it as something to remember me by. Really, now, there must be a spell for opening wine bottles. We should ask Twilight next time we pop by. There you go. <clears throat> to good times with good friends. Ah, that's lovely. I admit that I don't drink much, but I simply love to have a glass now and then, especially if it's such a good year like this one. You look like you're having a good time, sweetie. I imagine a cold shower followed by hot chocolate followed by chilled wine 
It's probably a very invigorating way to spend an evening. I think that you're well overdue for some pampering. This is something that I helped make myself. It smells simply divine. I discovered these products when I visited a spa run by flaxseed and wheatgrass. Two very eccentric ponies. <laughs> they were over their ears in debt and worried that they would lose their farm because of it. And yet, the solution to all their financial woes was right under their noses all along. These bottles sell for over 80 bits now. They were making these wonderful products fresh on location and tried to sell them under the name Flax and Wheats Goops for Stuff. <sighs> Let's just say marketing isn't exactly their forte. Creating the most amazing all-natural beauty products, however, is. I was thinking that I'd give you a facial treatment first, followed by hair wash with this amazing conditioner. You'll love it, I assure you. You won't have to get up. Just put your head on the towel I placed on the armrest and relax. You deserve this. Close your eyes for me, please. This goop is rather mild, but we don't need it in your eyes. Just relax. I'll be gentle. This is a very special product, made with milk and honey from the farm. I helped creating this batch when I was there for the first time, and talk about suffering for your art. Let's just say that the bees did not relinquish their honey willingly. If only Fluttershy had been there, it would have made things so much easier. She has a way with animals like no other. But you know all about that, don't you? <laughs> Sorry, darling. I got distracted there for a bit. You look like you're enjoying yourself, though. Hmm, <laughs> I love that smell on you. It's so very becoming. However... This is the piece de resistance. Trust me, this conditioner is so potent that it could even straighten out Pinkie Pie's mane, and... That we'd want that, of course. Bad analogy on my part. <laughs> what I mean is that it will work on any hair, and yet it is so mild that you don't need to wash it out as it absorbs into your hair as you sleep. You'll adore it. I know you will. Unfortunately, it takes a while to work in, so we'll have to keep at it. Here we go. Just relax. <laughs> or should I say fortunately? You really look like you're enjoying this, darling. Tomorrow morning, your hair is going to shimmer something fierce. You'll be the talk of the town. Oh, oh my. Time does fly when you're enjoying yourself, doesn't it? I think it is about time to settle down to sleep. I just need to sort your hair out first. 
How about we sleep here on the couch? My room is rather... Rather... It's a bit of a mess at the moment. <laughs> Besides, we've already warmed up the pillows a fair bit, haven't we? Let me just lie down here. Come here, dear. I really do need to brush out your hair. Otherwise, it's going to look a tad messy in the morning. It's easiest if you rest your head on my chest, darling. I'll be able to read you fine from there. There. Isn't that nice? I'm just going to wrap this blanket around us. You were out in the cold for a long time. It is best that we keep you warm the rest of the night. That's so lovely. You know what a base note of perfume is, right? The scent that lingers the longest after the initial scents have worn off? I think that's what I'm getting here. The base note from the conditioner. It's something quite familiar, but I can't figure out exactly what it is. Some sort of flower, perhaps? Oh! Now I've got it! And I think it fits you perfectly. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to guess that one yourself. Oh, don't be like that, darling. Besides, a lady must be allowed some secrets. Hmm, I love this brush. Bristles have tops so soft that every stroke with it feels like you're getting a scalp massage. It's relaxing, isn't it? You feel like you could fall asleep at any moment. Don't worry, dear. It's fine. I'm very comfortable. And it looks like you are, too. In fact, I couldn't think of any better place in Equestria to lay my head down to slumber. around the shoulder, sweetie. If it's all right with you, I'd like to put my hooves around them. I will pull the cover up to your neck as well. Mm, that's much better. My legs are not quite as soft as Fluttershy's wings, but it will be enough to keep you warm throughout the night. Besides, it looks like you like the feel of them. Can you hear my heartbeat, darling? I hope it will keep you from falling asleep. It's a bit harder than usual, because someone who is very dear to me sleeps next to it. <sighs> I have something to tell you. Something important. Are you uh, asleep? It's hard to tell because you're so relaxed going to tell you anyways. I have a feeling you'll hear my words somehow. I have been meaning to tell you for a long time already that you're very important to me. Perhaps you already knew that, but 
I feel the need to say it. The last thing I want is for you to think that you're being taken for granted. That we do not appreciate what you do. You are appreciated. Back then, on that awful day, when t had me and the others captured and it looked like it was all over, my thoughts wandered. I thought of my family. I thought of... You, darling. <sighs> Seeing your face after it was all over and knowing you were safe is one of the happiest moments of my life. Without you, I... Darling, you know that there are several attributes that we value in our friends, don't you? Things like honesty, kindness, and loyalty. In good friends, we find those qualities in abundance. They're flowing freely like a river from them. A river in which we bask in. But you, darling, you have variable oceans in you. Some days, I feel just like diving in there to never emerge again. It might sound selfish, but I love... So, like having these moments with you when I don't have to share them with anyone else. I may be the element of generosity, but I'm glad that for tonight, at least, I get to keep you for myself. Good night, darling.